Hello and welcome to Boom Recap. In this movie, a stray dog's destiny takes a dramatic turn when he decides to join forces with young American soldiers collaborating with the French to combat the German army. Today, we'll delve into the narrative of the 2018 film Sergeant Stubby, an American hero. This tale unfolds the remarkable journey of a humble street dog evolving into a valiant soldier fighting alongside his devoted friend during the First World, the canine accustomed to scavenging for food in garbage cans and enduring mistreatment from heartless individuals, occasionally found solace in meager discoveries. Like one fateful day, while wandering the streets in search of sustenance, the dog loses his bone in a crowd. In his quest for nourishment, he encounters a platoon of American soldiers. Witnessing the hungry dog Robert, one of the soldiers, compassionately tosses a cookie to him, marking the beginning of an enduring bond. Set against the backdrop of 1917, the United States enters the war against Germany. In this tumultuous period, thousands of young individuals from diverse corners of the country answer the call to arms. The American army joins the conflict aligning with the French and British, who have been engaged in a fierce struggle against the formidable German army for the past three years. European soldiers were feeling down, but their spirits lifted when they heard that help was coming from the United States. The soldiers reached a training center, but Stubby, the dog, had to find his own way in by going under a wooden fence. Stubby first went to the kitchen, but the cook chased him away. While running, Stubby accidentally ran over Robert and, looking for cookies, started sniffing him. The sergeant noticed Stubby's good behavior and asked Robert to share food with him, even if the cook didn't want to. During lunch, Hans Schroeder, a boy of German descent, expressed surprise that the sergeant allowed the dog to stay. But Olsen says that the colonel won't allow the dog. One night, Stubby wants to sleep in Robert's bed, but Robert tells him to sleep on the floor. In the morning, everyone wakes up scared, preparing for another day of training. Stubby practices all the training with the soldiers, and everyone grows fond of him. The sergeant praises Stubby, saying he's in better shape than most in the platoon. After a few nights, Robert lets Stubby sleep in his bed. Robert is determined to keep Stubby, and they even give him a name, Stubby. Olsen warns that the colonel might send Stubby away, so Robert teaches him tricks to impress the colonel and keep his friend. Luckily, the plan works and Stubby is allowed to stay. In a few days, the colonel arrives and is pleasantly surprised to witness Stubby saluting just like the soldiers. The colonel expresses his joy, declaring that Stubby is as much a welcome member of the army as any man. Later that day, during a training session involving gas masks, Stubby faces a unique challenge since he doesn't have a mask. Ingeniously, he employs his paws to shield himself from the lingering smoke, showcasing his adaptability. Over the subsequent weeks, Stubby manages to win over everyone, even earning the affection of Biscuits, who generously shares food with him. A colonel proud of the entire team lauds Stubby's contribution, foreseeing him as an invaluable assistant in training future soldiers. Robert, the boy, realizes it's time to say goodbye to his dog friend Stubby. He writes a letter to his sister and packs his bags for a trip. Stubby, sensing Robert's sadness, gets a parting gift. A color from Robert. Though it takes a bit to get used to, Stubby is happy to see himself wearing it in the mirror. Tying a rope around Stubby, Robert takes him to the kitchen, where the cook promises to take good care of him. Heartbroken, Robert hands Stubby over to the cook, who ties him up in a corner. Determined to be with his friend, Stubby manages to break free, following Robert's scent through the streets and sneaking onto a train to find him. During the journey, Stubby hides until he reaches the ship, where Robert is boarding. He stays close, making sure not to be seen. When he finds Robert's room, Stubby is overjoyed, and together they navigate the challenges of the night with the help of Robert's friends. The trio wants to hide Stubby, but the captain finds out. The captain orders the soldiers to make an ID plate for Stubby, making him an official member of the platoon. When they reach their destination, they see the difficult situation of the French in the trenches. He helps by scaring away pests from the trenches. On their first day in the war, Robert is dedicated to protecting Stubby. Stubby's important mission is to rescue wounded or buried soldiers during lunch. There's an argument about Stubby being the official mascot, but eventually they make up with Gaston's intervention. Sin informs them that his captain ordered him to work with Robert during lunch. 
they along with Hans and Olsen are tasked to keep an eye on the Germans. The group is shocked to see a city destroyed by the Germans. They walk for hours to reach the camp. The next morning, Gaston wakes Robert for their espionage mission. Using binoculars, they discover the enemy's plan to use toxic gas. Stubby spots an enemy soldier, and while running to sound the alarm, Stubby saves Robert from getting hit by a bullet. They head to the horses, but the animals run away due to gunfire. Following Robert's request, Stubby warns the soldiers about the gas attack, helping them prepare. Stubby then alerts the nearby village residents, and everyone rushes to their homes. In a barn, Gaston and Robert rescue Stubby, and Gaston makes an improvised mask for the dog. The gas attack is resisted, and the residents wait until the air clears, all thanks to Stubby. On their way back to camp, Stubby hunts a rabbit, and Gaston uses it to make soup. Later, Gaston shows Robert a photo of his family, expressing his longing to reunite with them. Robert shares his own family story and hopes for a better future in the United States. Following Robert's request, Stubby warns the soldiers about the gas attack, helping them prepare. Stubby then alerts the nearby village residents, and everyone rushes to their homes. In a barn, Gaston and Robert rescue Stubby, and Gaston makes an improvised mask for the dog. The gas attack is resisted, and the residents wait until the air clears, all thanks to Stubby. On their way back to camp, Stubby hunts a rabbit, and Gaston uses it to make soup. Later, Gaston shows Robert a photo of his family, expressing his longing to reunite with them. Robert shares his own family story and hopes for a better future in the United States. However, while saving his companion, the dog gets injured by an explosion, and Robert rushes to help him. Hans is also wounded, and Olsen seeks a doctor. Robert brings Stubby to the medical ward, pleading for help. Due to Stubby's serious injury, he needs to be transferred to a hospital. Hans arrives on a stretcher, and together they go to the hospital. After Hans and Stubby are injured, conflicts in Chapri worsen, and heavy rains flood the region, turning it into a big swamp. During the weeks apart from Stubby, Robert felt lost and could only hope his friend was still alive. The Germans advance toward Paris, but American soldiers, working with the French, try to stop them. The friendship between Gaston and Robert grew stronger during this unclear period until Gaston had to return to his regiment's base. Robert felt even more alone after losing another friend. After many days of intense battles, French and American soldiers recaptured Sacre, forcing the Germans to retreat. During a bombing raid, Robert writes a letter to his sister Margaret, trying to reassure her about the war. He claims to be fine, praises the food, and mentions it's been almost a month since Stubby's injury with no news. Despite that, he remains hopeful and wishes for the war to end soon. In the hospital, when Hans wakes up, Stubby is by his side almost fully recovered. However, realizing Robert isn't there, Stubby goes out to find him and steals sausages from German soldiers when he smells them being prepared. He then has to run away to avoid being shot. One morning, Olsen realizes that Robert is unwell. The boy is coughing desperately and can barely stand up. Olsen calls a doctor who examines Robert and says he's very sick, needing follow-up treatment. In 1918, a fatal flu epidemic hit the world, and Robert caught the disease. The virus spread rapidly among soldiers. Robert, weakened, just wanted to see his friend Stubby again. Meanwhile, Stubby follows his best friend's trail but faces challenges like hunger, fatigue, and a paw injury. After a rest, Stubby gathers strength to continue his mission of finding Robert. In the middle of the night, Olsen spots something moving through the bushes, grabbing his gun, thinking it's an enemy soldier. However, the boy gets a nice surprise when he finds out that Stubby has returned and managed to find them. Robert, hanging by a thread, receives a visit from his best friend Stubby, whose presence gives him the strength to get better. As the days go by, the boy recovers. After six months of exhausting combat, Robert and Stubby take a leave of absence to visit Paris with their American friends. Arriving in the beautiful city, Olsen and Hans talk to two beautiful young ladies while Robert goes for a nice bath. Initially, the French didn't trust the Americans, but by the end of 1918, they admired and felt grateful for their help. 
After a long night's rest, Robert and Stubby explore Paris, taking beautiful pictures all over the city's sites. In September 1918, it was announced that the war was coming to an end and the German army was retreating. In the middle of the night, Stubby sneaks out and attacks a German soldier who turns out to be a spy attempting to eliminate the dog. However, the boy gets a nice surprise when he finds out that Stubby has returned and managed to find them. Robert, hanging by a thread, receives a visit from his best friend Stubby, whose presence gives him the strength to get better. As the days go by, the boy recovers. After six months of exhausting combat, Robert and Stubby take a leave of absence to visit Paris with their American friends. Arriving in the beautiful city, Olsen and Hans talk to two beautiful young ladies while Robert goes for a nice bath. Initially, the French didn't trust the Americans, but by the end of 1918 they admired and felt grateful for their help. After a long night's rest, Robert and Stubby explore Paris, taking beautiful pictures all over the city's sites. In September 1918, it was announced that the war was coming to an end and the German army was retreating. In the middle of the night, Stubby sneaks out and attacks a German soldier who turns out to be a spy attempting to eliminate the dog. On that morning, many young men lost their lives, taking all their dreams with them. Seeing his friend Gaston in danger, Robert and Stubby rushed to his aid, and the alarm sounded at that very moment, announcing the end of the war. In the middle of the battlefield, Stubby finds Olsen's helmet and takes it to hands. Upon examining the equipment, the boy finds a hole, indicating that Olsen was shot in the head. Everyone is deeply saddened by the boy's death, but relieved to know that they will never have to go through that again. That same day, Gaston says goodbye to his American friends who are about to return to their country. When they arrive in the United States, the soldiers are greeted with great celebration and Sergeant Stubby makes history by being in all the newspapers as the most decorated dog in the United States. So, what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below, and if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.